Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode and today we will see how to create a virtual environment for Python from the Visual Studio code. So when we are talking about a term environment along with the Python, it is in a context which our Python application runs or say Python program runs. So an environment consists of an interpreter and all the installed packages which clearly means that one can have multiple environments on a single machine or rather I would say every Python application can have its own environment setup. Now question is why do we need such environments? Well, you, environment is usually required to keep our applications and their respective packages isolated and the reason behind this is quite simple. Let me give you an example. So let's say I have an application which is dealing mainly with the numbers and for that I have installed NumPy but at the same time I may have an another application doing some analysis work and for that application I require some Azure packages. Now I don't want to mix these two packages by keeping at single place as both of these are not required at the same time by the same applications right. My one application is only interested in dealing with Azure packages whereas other has nothing to do with Azure. Now another good reason why we need environment is because of versioning. Now it's quite obvious that one application is using older version of some package whereas another application is running on the most recent to release version of the same package. So in that case managing such versioning and the dependency is not that easy. So looking at these complexities the concept of environment was introduced which we can also see the virtual environment. So with this much brief introduction and in this video, I will walk you through how we can create a virtual environment in VS Code. So this is my Visual Studio code. I will quickly go ahead and open a folder. So I have already created an empty folder with the name Python demo. I will navigate it. Okay, let's close this out. And here, I want to VS Code to know that I'm working on a Python application. So for that, I will create uh, an empty file. We can name it anything, utility.py. Right, so on the bottom, you can see there is one default environment which is associated with this application and that is Windows Store. Now, I want my own environment so that I do not mess up with my existing projects or the applications right so for that i will quickly open a bash terminal and in this bash terminal we need to type a command like python minus m which is a switch then v e n v which is virtual environment and then we can give the name of our environment so we can give my demo environment so as soon as i will click enter you will notice that few files have got added to our project folder so let's give it a few seconds and on the left hand side you can see that this is the newly added folder. Well, so it is done and here are the three to four different folders and files got added. So uh, it is not recommended to go and touch these files manually or to edit this file as these are automatically generated. Now next what we need to do is we need to tell that use this environment for this particular application. So for doing that, we need to activate our environment. So I will quickly write the path here and the activation script is basically available here which is activate.batch. So the same thing I'm going to call it from here. So my demo env and it is inside my scripts activate dot batch so i have given the activation command next what we need to do is we need to associate interpreter so for that p 
otherwise you can also go and click on this command palette and type here python select interpreter so this is the first one which is coming over here we'll click on that and here we have already uh, existing environments so but basically in this demo i want to use my own environment so i will go here and say browse the interpreter which we want to use so go here scripts and i will click on python so it is done and you can see at the bottom now it is using this particular environment right next what we need to do is here you cannot see the impact so for that we need to go and open up a new terminal and inside the new terminal now you can see it is showing the new environment's name which is my demo env this is how we have done the setup next let's try to import some packages or install some packages here and for installing you can use any of the existing utilities which you were using till now there is no change so either it could be conda or it could be a pip so i will go ahead and try out one thing using pip so pip install and let's try one of the most common package which is for azure blob storage so pip install this now it will try to install this blob package in this environment so let's give a couple of seconds to this okay so now it is complaining about something so warning that you are using this particular version which is the pip version i am using is not the latest one so first thing what we need to do is we need to go ahead and upgrade our pip so for that either you can copy this command directly and i will paste it here and let's first upgrade the pip so it is installing the older version and it will try to install the new version so at the same time you can see that the left panel will get fluctuate as it is picking up the newer version so it is successfully installed 21.1 next i will retry to execute my same pip install and let's see if it works this time which is trying to install all these relevant packages perfect now this time no more errors so i will quickly go ahead and try out and see if really installed or not so for that from let's try to add the namespace so azure dot you can see that intellisense is coming because i have installed the pylens so pylens is the extension which was recently i mean uh, it was released last week and we can use it so from this and i will import the client library so that we can try to create an object blob service client so this is the one and let's see if it detects client dot from connection from connection string so now you can see that we are getting intellisense we are getting all the list of methods and everything and all this is now restricted only to my this particular folder which is python demo so this is what i have for today hope you enjoyed learning and setting up this environment thank you